Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. Here's a quick video on the common oil leaks on the M54 motor. This motor was put in the E46, E39, uh, some of the X series motors too for 3.0, and also the Z3s and some other BMWs as well. So let's go ahead and look at all the common leaks. All right, so the most common oil leak that you're gonna experience on the E46s or any M54 motor for that fact is the valve cover gasket. So when the valve cover gasket starts leaking, you're gonna see oil on the exhaust shields. The exhaust is actually taken off of here already, but there's metal shields right here. There's two of them, and you'll see oil built up on them. And every time you turn on the heater or anything like that inside the car, you'll start smelling burning oil. And then that pretty much signifies that the valve cover gasket is leaking. You might also experience oil in your spark plug holes, and that means the spark plug grommets, which are underneath the valve cover, are also leaking. When you do replace the valve cover gasket, make sure you get new grommets for each bolt. So they go in between the bolt and the valve cover and all the spark plug grommets and the valve cover gasket itself. All right, so the next common oil leak is from the oil filter housing gasket. So this right here is the oil filter housing. The oil filter goes in here. Every time we do an oil change, you take this off and replace the O-ring. But the gasket itself is all the way on the bottom attached to the block. As you can see it from right here. All the alternator and these pulleys are attached to it as well. So you would have to remove all of these pulleys, the belts, the alternator, and then you'll have access to the housing itself. The housing is only held in with a couple of bolts. And I actually have a DIY on that on my channel, which I'll link down below. So you just remove those bolts and replace that oil filter housing gasket. The gasket itself is $4. This you will actually see drops on your driveway or whatever. And you can also see if your gasket is leaking by looking from underneath the airbox. So take the airbox off and look through this hole right here. So you'll see oil like puddles of it on the waffle weave structure itself. And that means that that gasket is bad and you need to replace it. So the next oil leak that's very common that you can replace is the oil pan itself. So the oil pan gasket sits between the oil pan and the block. And it's actually this big structure right here. So pretty much the entire bottom of the engine is the oil pan. And this is the gasket between these two mating surfaces right here. So the gasket, when it starts leaking, you'll see drips again and it'll be coming off of the side of the block. You might even see a lot of debris and chunks built up. All right, so the last most common area for the M54 oil leaks is the rear main seal itself. So as you can see, I don't have the transmission hooked up, the flex plate, everything has been taken off, and you have to take all that off to access this rear main seal. The seal itself is like $10, but the labor involved in doing all of it, it is pretty expensive. These seals, this motor actually has like 160,000 miles. It's never been done before and it seems fine. I mean, it's leaking a little bit, but not anything major. So that, I would resort to that as your last, last resort. Most likely check your oil pan gasket and then oil filter housing and valve cover. It's usually one of those three. So another common area that is not actually a gasket or whatever, it's actually washers. So this right here is for the Vanos oil line. And these washers and the oil line itself, it might usually like whenever it gets old and a lot of miles, a lot of heat cycles, it'll start going bad and you'll start seeing oil leaking from right here as well. So you might have to replace that line. Also the CCV itself, there's a pickup tube that goes right to the oil pan with the oil dipstick. So there's a pickup tube right here. So if this tube is broken, you might also see some oil leak from there. There's also an O-ring right down here where the dipstick goes into. So if that O-ring is leaking, you'll see oil puddles right here as well. All right, so that's it for the most common oil leaks on the M54. There's other areas that it can leak from, but it's usually not that common. So if you guys have oil leaks and you see drips or you smell it burning, just check the things that I showed you and that should pretty much put you on the right track. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to contact me. Usually through Instagram, I'll answer you a lot quicker than any other method. So just direct message me on Instagram or comment on any of my pictures. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more DIYs and vlogs.